a lot to think about and the challenge the challenge sometimes with with church it is easier to see the other person it's far easier to see the other person and ignore ourselves I think today is one of those days that you listen, you ponder, and you ask yourself, where am I in all this thing? Where am I in all this, this thing? One of the things about, about youth and about young people, sometimes they're uncensored. They, they will say how they are feeling, what they are going through. And it's for us to evaluate what they are saying. You know, I remember, and I, I, I wasn't always old. I was much, much younger one time. I thank God that there were some people who had patience with somebody like me. And sometimes what we need, a little more patience with others. For the end of the day, all we want to see happening is that Christ be fully formed in all of us. And some of us need more, need more chiseling than some. But we all need some chiseling. So Christ can be fully formed in us. So we can, as Denz just explained, so we can level up. Level up means basically moving up. Moving up. Whatever the level might be, is moving up. Whether to the next level or to above. But if the idea is moving up. Not being comfortable. Not being uh, satisfied or complacent with where you are. It is moving up to the next level. As I stand here, There's another level that I can move up to. If you are here this afternoon, even those online, if you know within your heart that where you are now, there is another level that God wants to elevate you to. Stand with me. If you believe there is another level that God wants to elevate you to so together we can we can level up as a matter of fact let's bring up bring that song back again 581 i am thy no 61 60 yeah 561 i am thine O oh lord i have heard thy voice and it told thy love to me but i long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn
I think earlier Sister Ruth had mentioned coming to the altar and things like that. But I want to pray this afternoon, first of all, for all the young among us, all the youth among us, all the youth. If you're young at heart, all that stuff, I want to pray for you. I know the technicians are working back there, but do me a favor, guys. If you could stand as a part of your prayer and just control your stuff while you're standing so we all get included in this time of prayer. But for all the other young people, I'm going to invite you just to come to the altar, the place where we can meet together. And we're going to talk to the Lord on behalf of all of us. All the, all the young ones, you just come. Man. this attitude of of prayer and consecration and all those nice stuff I'm going to ask a mother a father to just draw alongside one of these youth and just, just lay your hand along just touch them even the guys who are in the back if somebody, adult, father, mother somewhere, just just come and stand and just lay your hand on one of these on the altar, including the four young men who are in the, I mean the three young men and Abigail in the back. Just, just lay your hand on them. Just lay your hand on them. Thank you, Deacon Charles. We still have someone in front. Now, I would like everybody just to Judith is a part of a group that we pray with on Mondays. And one sister Judith's prayer has always been for the young people. Always, without ceasing, she would always pray for the young people. I'm going to ask Sister Judith at this time. pray for the young people for I know she has good intentions towards all young people so sister Judith could you come praise God praise God hallelujah God He doesn't make mistakes. And every one of these young people in here, they are loved. They are loved. They are prayed for. They are prayed for. They are loved. My desire, my desire 
is to see them accept Christ as Lord and Savior. That's my desire. They are loved. Young people, you are loved. You are loved by grace, church. You are loved. Hallelujah. Eternal and most righteous, loving, tender God. The God who knows all about our feelings. The God who sees us from inside. The God knows what is going on deep in our heart. Father God, we approach your mercy seat this morning. Father God, forgive us, oh God, where we have seen, where we have come short. Father, forgive us, wash us, cleanse us, creating us, oh God, a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. Help us, oh God, to come before you as righteous people because, oh God, you are a holy God and we have to get holy in order to approach your mercy seat. So this morning, oh God, I bring the young people before you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you will go from each one to each one, God. And Father God, you will touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Father God, when they leave out here today, they will never be the same. Father God, we cannot save them, God, but we know you can work in them. So let your word, oh God, work in them, through them, Lord. And Father God, help them to be vessels of honor. Help them, oh God, to come to know you as Lord and Savior, the King of kings, Lord of lords. Father God, help them not to question whether they are to come to church, yes or no, but them help them to come with a willing heart because God is here. And where, where you are, where your presence is, oh God, it is joy. Father God, we want them to come into your presence. Fill them up, oh God, and use them to your glory. Father God, some are shy, but God, we pray for boldness. That God, when you call them, when, when they, are, they are set, oh God, to do something for you, Lord, they will do it with a willing heart in the name of Jesus. So, Father, once more, we put all the young people of Grace Church and all over before you, and we pray that you'll do a new thing. We'll do your, we pray, oh God, that you'll do a new thing before them, for them. And God, all the honor and all the glory will be to you in Jesus' name. And Father, we continue in prayer. And we lift up not only our young people, but everyone, God. Everyone. Those who are here in sanctuary and those who are viewing us, worshiping along with us virtually. Lord, Lift us up. Plant our feet, God, on higher, higher ground. Our soul has no desire to stay. Our soul has no desire to stay. We are sin or anything else about. But our prayer, our desire is for you, Lord, to plant our feet on higher ground. Lift us up. Lift us up, God. Lift us up. 791. 791. I think it's 791. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher. 797. Higher. 797. Let us pray this song as we prepare to go forward in Jesus' name. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining. Gain. 
every day. Every day. Still praying as I on word bow. Lord, plant my feet on high. My faith on heaven stable land a higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. My soul has no desire. My heart has no desire to stay. Where doubts Arise and fears dismay. Though some may dwell where this love my prayer, my aim is I. As an act of surrender, let's receive our hands, as an act of surrender, our hands to heaven. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven. Declare it one more time, Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. I fade on it and simple land.
worship you. We honor you, hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Ah, oh, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Yes, God, yes, God. Let's just do it one more time, one more time. Lord, lift me up and let me stand.
Father, that is the prayer of our hearts for today, that you, Lord, will plant our feet on higher ground as we level up in Jesus. Father, I present into your hands right now our dear Zendaya one Lord we love so much one Lord that we treasure so much but Lord you're aware of the condition in her back Many options, God, are on the table. But we look to you for your divine intervention. We look to you for your touch. We look to you for healing. We look to you, God, for restoration. And to make new if you have to make new in the name of Jesus. And so we present your daughter and we ask you, God, to do something miraculous for her in the name of Jesus. The others who are not well in body, we ask God you will touch today in the name of Jesus. For you are still the healing God. You are still the miracle working God. You are still the promise keeping God. So we ask you to touch the bodies of your children. As you have touched our spirits today. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. And we give you all the glory. And together... All God's people say, Amen, Amen, and Amen, Amen. Make your way back to your seats. Yeah. Okay, Amen. Yeah. Amen, Amen, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us all let us all stand together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me again just first of all, let's just give God thanks for Sister Ruth and the young people for leading us in our time of worship and celebrating of Jesus. Jesus for today. Let us continue to pray. Let's continue to pray that Christ be fully formed in them. For one day we were we were young still. We were young one day, no. And uh, so we just need to pray that Christ be fully formed. As a matter of fact, that prayer us as adults too. That Christ be fully formed in us. Because it was, it was, it was, it was, it was Paul himself saying that you have not yet learned Christ. Amen. For if you had learned Christ, <laughs> that'd be a different story. So it was Paul said it. You have not yet learned Christ. And so thank God for everyone today. Just high five anybody and tell him, thank God for coming to church today. Thank God you came to church today, man. Thank God to have you in church today. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. 
Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a wonderful afternoon. Have a wonderful afternoon in Jesus' name. Yes. Choir. Those again who are interested in being a part of the convention choir for this year, um, just make your way quickly to have a seat in the front here. God, um, a seat in front here. All those who want to be a part of the convention choir for this year, just come quickly have a seat right in here, sir. Pastor, I want to talk to you. From